The home team's robotic dog now has enhanced features and capabilities like sniffing out gas leaks. Rover X is expected to be deployed in potentially high-risk missions and partner frontline officers during patrols. Trials are expected to end by the middle of this year. Leong Jiayu with this report. It has cameras and electronics that can calculate and adjust movements quickly. That's so it can manoeuvre over stairs, curbs and other terrain. It also has thermal imaging, so it can see in the dark and detect flames invisible to the naked eye. And there's also a 3D laser scanner that helps it map its surroundings. The Super K9 has been upgraded. It's now autonomous and can explore surroundings unlike previous versions which had to be controlled remotely. Even without a pre-planned route or prior knowledge of the area. This makes Rover X the perfect asset for high-risk operations like disaster rescue efforts. I'm in a mock-up of a chemical plant where Rover X is being trialled. One of its features is that it has sensors that can determine if there are poisonous gases in the surroundings. So during an incident, it can be sent in first to assess if the environment is safe enough for officers and rescue personnel to enter. The data is then sent to a remote command station. Currently, right, the only way to find out if there's any presence of chemical in the environment is to actually um, get a personnel in the PPE with the detectors, go into the hot zone or warm zone and do me measurements manually. If we are going to leverage on technology and autonomous robotic platform, this will actually free up our manpower for other, other tasks and also to have a, safe, a safer working environment for our responder. Beyond search and rescue functions, the home team is hoping Rover X can help the police scan the environment for threats. It's able to detect people in unauthorised areas, as well as look out for unattended bags. For now, more trials are needed. After gaining uh, feedback about the performances of the Rover X in the trials, uh, we will sit down with the home team departments and discuss the way forward on the deployment plans and how, how much more robots they want to deploy. There are currently five Rover X units undergoing testing.